Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I'm super excited to get to talk about a new feature in Matter. Matter is a read later service similar to Pocket or Instapaper, and it just lets you read things later. And that's great, and it's a really valuable tool in my workflow from like getting things in RSS to reading them and then sharing them. I've made tons of videos about it, so again, I'll share that wherever uh, the things are. But yeah, I wanted to talk about it today because they have the new feature that I've been waiting for since it began, and that's a web app. So if I want to read things on my desktop, on my web browser, wherever that happens to be, I can do that now. Previously, the app only worked on the iPhone and iPad, but now it works in anything with a web browser, and I'm so happy about that because I really love when I'm able to be flexible with where I read things and everything, and sometimes the web is just the right place to do it. So I'm gonna take you through what the web app has today. It is in beta, so it's not totally feature compliant complete, but it's in a really good state and I feel like it's in a good place where I can show it to you and you can get an idea for what it does. So let's jump into the screen share. Now you may already know about this because you saw their extension, which you can use to save things from your web browser to Matter, got an update that added a third button that lets you go straight to your queue. Now it's just a web URL, so you can just log in and save it as a bookmark or whatever, but you can access it from the extension if you'd like. So let's go ahead and just go to the link. So if you've used the app on the iPhone or iPad, then this is gonna look really similar. It's basically just showing you your queue of articles you've saved previously. You can also access your highlights and favorites and that sort of thing, uh, but it doesn't have any of the social features that Matter has on their apps. I don't know if that's coming, it probably is, but I don't know for sure, uh, but it's not there right now. And personally, I only use it as a thing to read my own articles. I don't really use the social stuff that much. It's occasionally useful, but I don't use it that much. So it's not that big of a loss for me, but just so you know, it's only your stuff, not not to the social stuff right now. So now if we click into an article, you're gonna see something again, very similar to the app, and it just looks nice. All the stuff comes over and everything. It's formatted beautifully. If you wanna change the formatting, there are formatting options where you can change the font, you can change some of the spacing options. You can also access the original article. Just hit this button here, and you'll be taken to the original article in a new tab. And there's some other options to archive, copy the link, that sort of thing. Uh, so you can do all that here. I really wish some of this stuff had keyboard shortcuts. Not as many things as I would expect have keyboard shortcuts, so hopefully that'll be added in the future. And then in the article, you can highlight things just like you can in the app. So just select the text you want, make it a highlight, and boom, that's saved to your list of highlights in Matter. And the web app also has the ability to listen to the article. So just like the app, you can hit the play button on basically any article you've saved, and it'll just read through the article for you. The voices are different. I don't know why they're different, but the voices are different from what you have on the iOS app. I think it's not quite as good, but that's gonna be personal taste. Um, it's really nice to see it here so I can just open an article, hit the play button, and just listen to it if I'm doing something else. I just wanna kinda of consume it like a podcast almost. It's really nice to have that. Then along the top of the page, there's two quick things. Uh, in the top right, there's a plus button where if you click that, you can just paste in a URL and you can save it directly to your queue. Honestly, the extension is gonna be an easier way to do this, but if you don't have the extension, or if you just have the URL on your clipboard for some reason, this'll work. And you have a search bar, so you can search for any article titles, any content of the article, so it'll search the body as well. And you can search for whatever you want. My one criticism here is that it doesn't seem to be able to search for a phrase. I can't figure out the syntax to search for a phrase. So for example, if I wanna look for articles that mention Elden Ring, I can search for Elden Ring and it's going to show me everything that has the word Elden or Ring, but I can't figure out how to do it so it only finds that exact phrase. So I have like smart doorbell reviews in here as well because they mention Ring doorbell. Um, yeah, a little annoying, but not the end of the world. You can probably still find what you want. Hopefully this will be iterated on, but it's not the end of the world the way it is right now. So yeah, that is the Matter web app. It is pretty darn solid. It could definitely use a little bit of iteration to be perfect, but it's in a good spot right now. And if you use Matter on the iPhone or iPad, I think it's a great addition to just the library of places that you can use Matter. Uh, again, it is totally free. There's no way to pay for it. There are no ads. There's no business model right now. So it's a little weird and maybe it'll go away. Uh, maybe there'll be a business model that's not congruent with what you want. So I totally get that if you don't wanna jump in right now, but if you are okay with that and just taking the risk, I think it's a really good experience and it just got better with the web app. So yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.